are you a digital marketer? Do you ever feel like you're alone in this world and like nobody else gets you? So check this out. I'm with the CEO of this awesome company. It's called Fermi Ducks. And what they do, they do the coolest shit. So what they do is literally create hubs for digital marketers to network and get to know each other so that we don't feel like we're alone, guys. Like it's so awesome. I'm about to interview him. I hope you enjoy this. Check this out. guys because he wants me to be on my worst behavior like Drake <laughs> anyways bro tell him who you are what you do and how you're revolutionizing the world bad as you want to be okay well <laughs> thank you for coming thank you for having me on the show so what I'm doing is I got with a couple of people and we're in digital marketing and being digital everything changes every day yeah and so what we realized was that there's a lot of people that feel really isolated feel really alone in this digital marketing universe so being nerds I'm a data analyst actually so that's the kind of marketing I do that's my favorite but there's all kind of fields. There's you know social media, there's influencer marketing, there's paid search, there's all kind of stuff out there. And what we realized was that there was a big parallel to science. So Enrico Fermi postulated, this is an old school scientist, he said the universe is so big that it's, it's probably pretty likely that there's intelligent life out there. That being true, where the hell is everybody? Like where's the intelligent life? And that's us. That's us in digital marketing. We're like, you know, I know my stuff, I'm really good at my craft. Where is everybody? Where's the people I can talk to? So what we're doing uh, in Fermi Docs, you know, we shortened it down, not Fermi Paradox, but Fermi Docs. <laughs> um, we're just creating, like you said, hubs to bring people together. You know, maybe people that would never even interact with each other, but could be in the same company. You know, so if you're in digital, we're bringing you together. Right now, we're actually in a room, but right now we have an event with about 100 people. Guys. So we're, yeah, so we're. <laughs> We've got everybody here. It's all influencers in digital marketing. The people that are, I mean, I've talked tonight to art directors at agencies in St. Pete. Um, one guy's doing a mural in, uh, in Seminole Heights. That's dope. Uh, there's a the pizza shop owner. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, it's a very random crowd. But everybody's interested in digital and getting to know each other and how we can just, you know, not feel so isolated and alone on Facts. different planets. Yeah. Facts. I think that's a huge thing. As being a digital marketer myself, literally this year was the first time I ever attended a conference. No, no way. Yeah, and I actually spoke at it. Nice. So that was the only reason why I went. Shout out Tampa Bay Startup Week. Yeah, I got to share the event with Gary Vaynerchuk. He was the number one like RSVP speaker That's after awesome. oh, 100 huge. events. I was number two. He opened up for you though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary, you opened up for me. <laughs> He's gonna see this and be like, who is this guy? I'm gonna write him down and have people go after him. <laughs> no, but yeah, man. After like going to these conferences, I went to Funnel Hacking Live, mm -hmm. which is where I got introduced to Dave Woodward, Russell Brunson. I mean, I've been following Russell Brunson for years. Yeah. But they asked me to be on their podcast, and that was super awesome. Yeah. But aside from that crowd, which are like heavy digital marketers, oh, yeah. I didn't feel a connection with anybody. Yeah. Um, especially in the Tampa Bay area. Sorry to interrupt you, but that's a shame because yeah. we're so digital. Like, there's we have all the ingredients. To make a badass digital ecosystem. I think people are sleeping on Tampa. Like, and it's because we sleep on it ourselves, but there's people like you that are like, no. nah, fuck that shit. We do with sun. <laughs> Well, yes. I mean, there comes a point where there's like a boiling, a tipping point or boiling point where you just gotta do it. You know, like we, I'm, I know so many people, and that's what that's what drives me is that there's people that I work with, and I see, I know that they're awesome. I know that they're just, you know, the coolest people outside of work. But at work, they put on this mask, and they're like, okay, I'm clocking in, gotta make this bread. I hate this job, blah blah. blah. And not in my job, of course. Everybody in my job loves their job. <laughs> we won't but tell you where he works. <laughs> I, but I work in some places where you know people, they're just becoming drones, and it's like. You gotta, if you got soul, don't lose it just to make a living. Facts. There's more out there. You know, you could be an awesome, you know, personality reaching out to people like this. There's, there's just so much more out there. And we want to be the hub that brings that together in regards to the digital universe. That's awesome. And I love that. And so dope. So we've got big plans. Um, I'm a dreamer. Like, I just, I can't stop dreaming. And, and I'm kind of in college, which I spent eight years getting my four year degree. Okay. That would have been me too yeah. if I didn't. Say fuck that shit. I'm starting my own business. <laughs> so, yeah, so I started a company called Dear Drunk Me. And it was back in back in the day. There was websites like Text from Last Night. Yeah, I remember that. That shit was dope. It was 2008. 2008 yeah, exactly. Like yeah, that, right? yeah. Ten, I think 2010 was exactly the spot. Yeah. So it was Dear Drunk Me. Um, I can't believe that you did this last night. Blah blah blah. Like so, one of the things was like Dear Drunk Me. If I find out that it was you that punched a hole in the wall in our living room, I'm gonna kick my own ass tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And it was fun, so we started promoting it with events. I got everybody together. We all got like 
crazy drunk. And eventually I was like, is this really what I want to do in my life? So I ended up in corporate America, but I can't get away from this like, life can be fun. Like, it doesn't have to be like irresponsible fun, but, but just fun. But just like fun enjoyable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I linked up with some cool people and we're, you know, we're making it fun. We're reminding people that you can use your superpower to have meaning and purpose for what you do. Um, you can meet with people that are doing awesome stuff. I'm glad that we connected in a minute. Um, and just, you know, there's more to life out there. Intelligent life is all around you. You just gotta, you gotta link up with them. Yeah, dude. And I'm a big, like, proponent on, like, whatever vibes you bring out to the universe is with the vibes that you're gonna get back. Absolutely. And I feel the best of vibes here, guys. <laughs> like, seriously, nice. I commend you. This is super fucking amazing. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I really appreciate it. And do you have anything else you want to tell the viewers? No, I would just say that, um, you know, look out for Fermi Docs because we're coming for you. Uh, we're, we're coming in, for you. We're in Tampa right now. We're looking at opening up in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we're looking in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're, we're going national eventually because yeah. we want to not only give people a home and you know, a place to know that there is intelligent life out there, we want to use our digital superpowers that maybe we gain those in corporate America to like help nonprofits, help local businesses, you know, like just do cool stuff that makes the world better because that's what it's all about. Fuck so that's yeah. it. That's it. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. And, um, no, but he's so exactly right. Time. Yeah, dude, you're, I swear on my life you're exactly right. So the reason why I got into like going full time into Divide Tech, digital marketing was actually to help small business yeah. owners. Um, but they, to me, they weren't my ideal customers anymore yeah. because they couldn't afford what I'm I was doing. I'm going the same thing. Yeah, it's hard because you have to make money, you have to get paid. So a lot of us end up in you know big corporate gigs or working for big corporate clients. And you forget about those guys. Like my, I had a business called Able to Me when I first started out, and my literal motto was helping the small guys look like the big guys. Yeah. And it was, you know, the cool mission and all, but like, you know, they didn't have any money. Right. And you gotta get paid. You gotta, <laughs> like, you gotta live, man. So, so kind of the approach that we're taking to that is we're getting sponsors. Like right now, our sponsor for this, and you can cut this out if you want to, whatever. But Site Spec and 180 by Two, they paid for a bunch of empanadas, a bunch of beer, and the other big outfits. And so I don't even know who they are. Yeah, yeah. it's like A/B testing and data enrichment, you know. Okay. Like, yeah, but I feel like I have this hypothesis that we can get sponsors, like big companies, that want some philanthropy to like give back. And then we, as like kind of a not even an agency, but just a collective of people, some kind of cooperative of people doing cool stuff in digital, can work with smaller local businesses or nonprofits that don't have those big budgets, but we have funding from elsewhere. And we can you know, do stuff that we love and actually help people that deserve to be helped. That'd be cool. I'd love to be a part of that. So we haven't gotten too much into that yet, but when we do, I'm gonna, you're going to be on that because yeah. we, need, we need you. We need people like you. Hell so. yeah. Guys, because it's all about branding. Branding. All about branding and being a positive influence in your society and making that difference, changing that person's perspective. Because let's be real, society wants us down, but people like him, people <laughs> like me want to lift you up so that you can see your true potential and right. you can enjoy the world how it's meant to be enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. See you later.